All right, y'all. It's that time again. Let's see where we at out here on the range. Got us some got us some good stuff set up out there, as you can see. Got us some two liters. Some we're gonna got us a nice little couple cinder block piles and some some paper stuff. I got some more stuff I'm gonna do too. But we'll let's show you what we what we're working with here. If if y'all been watching me, y'all know what's going on here. Uh, we got the Panzer BP12 in the house. Uh, I did an unboxing and, and a disassembly and all on it yesterday. So. It's time to get this bad boy out here and, and feed her some food. So Panzer BP-12, Bullpup 12 gauge, shotgun, 20 inch barrel. Uh, we've got several different uh, loads out here. Oh, first before I get into this, let me show y'all what else I got. Uh, my, prop, my shooting range is a little bit away from my main house, but I stopped at the Walmart up here by the range. Look at that. Got me a couple boxes of 308 in there for 21 bucks. So I know y'all all appreciate them ammo finds. But all right, let's 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 get back to it. Panzer BP-12. We got us some magazines. We got us the Wolf Double Alt Buck there. Uh, we got us some 1325 Velocity number 7s. Uh, we got some 1300 3 inch Magnums, or not Magnums, but 3 inch loads there. Uh, and then we got these 1290 target loads, these seven and a half. So I'm gonna run. I got all three mags here. Got two five rounders and a ten rounders full of the double alt buck. Uh, so I'm gonna run them first, and then uh, we're gonna go from there and see how how good she does. I'm gonna try to run run a couple of these boxes of of uh, wolf double alt buck. Then I'm gonna probably go to that uh, Winchester, that 1325 number seven shot there. And then we'll try the three inch just to make sure it feeds three inch good to go. And then uh, we'll see what it does with them target loads a little bit lighter. I'm running these all on the uh, the low velocity piston. So we ain't gonna put the high velocity in there at all. I don't think we got any need. Uh, supposedly up to 1350, uh, you're fine with the low velocity pist uh, piston in it. So we should be good to go there. We're gonna get you set up. And uh, for the first thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna run five through. I got a target set up that's exactly uh, 10 yards that little green paper target there on the ground and I'm measuring it with my uh, had a couple people ask about how what do I do to find the ranges got this little halo range finder it's a 450 yarder uh, pretty decent pretty decent little range finder so we're gonna start on that green one there and like I said I'm gonna just do a, a basic basic function test hopefully it feeds good I'm hoping that we start out with a, a full mag right through it with no problem and uh, I'm gonna try to keep this just kind of random not not so much a lot of testing. I know I do a lot of testing. I don't know how much y'all like it, but I am going to do one little test on it. I got all three chokes with me. I got the full, the modified, and the cylinder choke on it. So right now we got the cylinder. So I'm gonna once I once I do this five round mag just to just test the function out. I'm gonna I got some big paper targets here. These these are big like man sized targets. I'm gonna put them out there and we're gonna see what kind of spread we get with each one of the chokes. I'm I'm kind of interested in that. But enough of that chit chat. I'm gonna set us up and we're gonna get at it. All right, y'all, here we go. Putting the first first shots through this Panzer BP-12. Got the five rounder. I put me a little mag pull sling on it so I can hold on to it a little better. I, I can tell you one thing I definitely don't like already is that sling position. Uh, I like mine back behind where my, where my point of grab is, and that's gonna be a little difficult on this one, but I think I can figure it out, put me a little quick disconnect, because as you can see, that thing just, it just gets in my way. I don't like my sling in front of my hand like that, but. We're going to see what she does. Like I say, we're going at, uh, that's exactly 10 yards, that green target down there. Uh, running the Wolf Double Alt Buck, 1325 feet per second is what this is supposed to be. Just two and three quarter, nine pellet Double Alt Buck. So, first shot, Stuart. See what she does. It's a little chilly out here, for sure. All right. See what we got, boys. I ain't, I ain't moved the sights. Ain't been no kind of adjustment. I mean, it's a shotgun. You know what I mean? Ain't, ain't a whole lot of adjustment going to be necessary there, so. Exactly 10 yards. Let's see what she does. Woo! Yes, sir. It's not bad recoil at all on that gun. I figured there'd be a lot more recoil on it. So, y'all can see, boom, tore that, little, tore that little wood target up. That was five of them. Ejected all five. No problems whatsoever. So, put it back on safe. We'll get us a get us a little bit of paper set up and we're gonna do a little bit of testing before we get too crazy with it. Alright y'all, got a set up down there. So right now what we got is uh, I'm gonna do a test. I'm gonna do uh, one shot on each of the three chokes that this comes with. Uh, right now we still got the cylinder cylinder choke in it, so got the biggest spread possible, and that's a 10-inch uh, man size target, paper target down there. So I'm just gonna do one shot with this one. Put a new target and do one shot and one shot with the next one. But, uh, man, I'm happy about that first magazine. Y'all seen it, all five shots. Not a single failure to feed, failure to eject, nothing on it. So 
that's good man i prepped it up real nice in the in the last unboxing video if y'all ain't seen that one check it out pretty good it got a little long but it's, it's a pretty decent video uh but yeah i'm real happy the recoil on this is nothing man i was expecting to have to put that limb saver on i can shoot this all day honestly and this is the uh this is the low velocity choke uh uh, gas piston in it and so i'm assuming the high velocity would would reduce the recoil even more I, I that would be my assumption but so if this was the if this was the standard velocity <laughs> this, this ain't nothing man this is no kind of recoil on this gun uh i was also a little concerned about that pick rail chewing on my hand nothing there they, they ain't a recoil they ain't enough recoil to, to for it to happen so anyway enough of that chit chatting again let's get at it we got the uh got the cylinder choke in it we're gonna do one shot we're gonna check our spread out all right ready to roll like i say cylinder choke with the wolf double alt buck nine pellet double alt buck so 10 yard target we're gonna put him right in the center on the center x and see what kind of spread we get now i ain't adjusted these targets at all so what we get is what we're getting all right look like it shot a little bit low but not too bad not too bad and that ain't much spread just out of a cylinder so i'm gonna put us a new piece of paper down there and uh we're gonna get at the next next uh choke on it and then we'll compare them all at the end all right y'all back out here again got to set back up with a new target uh i got the i think it's this is a modified it's either modified or improved y'all gotta forgive me i'm not a shotgun expert it's the middle choke anyhow i want to say modified but it might be improved but y'all y'all shotgun guys know what it is it's the three notch choke I think I think it's uh I want to say modified, but if I'm if I'm saying it wrong, y'all know what I mean. So at first when that that cylinder choke, it was all nine pellets grouped pretty tight. So this one ain't it ain't gonna be much different. I'm I'm assuming it's gonna be grouped up pretty tight, but we're gonna see what we get. So again, we got the same the, the Wolf Double Alt Buck nine pellet uh, Panzer BP12 12, 12 gauge bullpup. Here we go. Yes, sir. That was a little low, too. I think I, I didn't adjust my sights from the first time. I wanted to make sure it was a little low and wasn't just the way I'm aiming, but I'm going to probably move it a little bit. We're going to go down there to pull that one down. We're going to go with the full choke, the tightest spread of all, and then we'll see what we got. All right, y'all. Got us a new piece of paper again. We're on, we on the full choke this time. This is the tightest one of all. I'll be honest. I'll, I'll show you here in just a second, but uh that middle that medium one didn't have much uh it wasn't much different in the cylinder now granted we're at 10 yards but i wanted to do it at 10 yards uh for a, a self-defense kind of scenario i mean this is you ain't gonna be shooting much more than 10 yards in your in your house for self-defense or in your yard to be honest with you. i mean you can but this this to me is is realistic as far as what you're gonna be looking at if you're using this gun for self-defense so so anyway enough chit chatting again uh we're going at it here this is the full choke this will be our last paper test and we'll just shoot up some stuff. Full choke with the Panzer BP-12, 12, 12 gauge bullpup. Here we go, here we go. Yes sir, I mean this gun shoots soft man. It's, it's, it's hard to explain just how soft this gun is for what it is. But let me get that thing, actually you know what? While we're on here, I'm just going to take out, I'm going to take out these other two shells and then we'll load up that, that 10 rounder. We'll put them on this wood right here. There you go, lock back, all 10, that was 10 rounds, y'all seen it. All right, y'all, here's what we got for our comparison after uh, after doing our deal there. Got them all side by side. Like I say, this was the cylinder choke here. This first one on the left is the cylinder. Y'all can see the spread there. It's, it's pretty daggone tight. I mean, it's it's pretty tight spread. And you got the improved or the the medium the middle size one like i said I'm, I'm thinking it's improved it may be modified i may be saying it wrong but anyhow it's the middle one pretty much identical not much at all you can see all nine pellets in the wad on both of them and then here's the full choke this is the tightest spread now i will say when you stand back and look at them you got all nine pellets some of these even on top one two three four five six seven eight nine and then the wad again when i stand back and look at the cylinder on the left over here versus the full choke on the right i can see a difference now from from the middle to either side it's 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 negligible difference i'll be honest with you now again this is at 10 yards so i guess i shouldn't have expected a whole big difference but i could see where from cylinder to full well the, the wind said it don't want to see nothing but i could definitely see going from cylinder to full 
on a uh, shooting like skeet or at, a, at any kind of distance, I could definitely see where there would be a difference on that. So just wanted to give y'all a look at that. Uh, got to set back up. I'm going to take out these three bottles over here and this target here with a few rounds and then I'm going to change to a different angle. It's a little tricky out here with no camera, man. I want to get y'all some different angles and stuff. Now, one thing I have noticed, especially with this big mag, y'all can see as far as with a, and with a sling on, it's, it's, it's kind of tough loading it in there, getting your, your magazine in there quickly. But, I mean, you ain't, you ain't shooting an a AR or AK. You're not really looking for quick, uh, quick tactical type mag changing. And especially with a sling, if you got a sling on, you just do it with your other hand. So, you know, ain't no big deal. But anyway, something to consider. All right. This is that 10 rounder. So, we're going to test this one out. Hopefully, ain't got no problems with it either. So, Going hot on that, I'm going to take them three bottles and we might ring the steel a time or two and then I'm going to switch it up again. Alright, here we go, here we go. Woo, yes sir, got that steel swinging baby. Oh man, this gun's nice, man. This thing's nice. Feeding with this mag too, no problem. I actually kind of like this ambi safety, even though I'm a right-hander. You can grab that with your index finger, switch it back on the safe, and not have to reach up there with your thumb. So that's pretty nice like that. I like that. All right, I'm gonna get us reset, get us a couple different more angles, and uh, we're gonna put some more through this thing. We ain't near done yet. All right, y'all, topped us off out here. I'm, I'm yelling at the camera like I don't have a mic strapped on me. <laughs> Uh, I got I topped a mag back off. I put those five we shot over there back in here. Got two more mags, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna dump this mag into those little uh, cement block piles down there, those cinder blocks with the with the uh, skeets on them. Anyway, ten more rounds in here. We're gonna dump them in those uh, targets there. I might do a reload with one of these five rounders in my pocket. Hit these targets and a couple of these bottles too while we at it. It's getting overcast out here, so I got I got to get these things to run through here, man. But so far, not a single problem out of this gun. I love this gun. I absolutely love this gun. I'm so glad I bought this gun. So here we go, guys. Let's get at it. Let's get at it. Here we go. Going hot. I mean, devastated. Look at that pile of cinder block. It's gone, man. Whew, it's gone. Love it. Let's put another one in here. Let's get at it. Love it. Whoa, uh-oh. Had, had a little thing. I think that might have been me. We won't blame the gun just yet on that. All right, here we go. Let's, let's put a couple more on that block. We didn't quite kill that one. That one's dead. Let's get this pig. Got him. Get this bottle. Yes, sir. Locked them back. Got them all. All right, let's make sure that was just me fumbling with that mag. I think I kind of pulled it out, pushed, made it a little cricket. We ain't going to blame the gun for that. Fed fine. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. And I'm telling you, it puts all nine, ran all nine pellets on that steel, too, man. This would be a devastating home defense weapon. This ain't no joke right here, but I mean, it'll tear it out the frame, man. No joke, buddy. Done deal. All right. I'm going to get it set up and do a little different angle on it. All right, y'all. Got us reloaded. I actually changed up the ammo on it. Uh, I'm probably pressing my luck by, by going with this uh, number seven just this soon. Uh, but so far, it's fed that wolf like a champ, man. It ain't had no problem with that double-off buck. So we're going with this number seven shot. Now, this is steel, so I ain't going to shoot these close targets with the steel. You know, it, these things are hung real nice, and they, they deflect the lead and, and everything pretty perfectly. But... And steel, so you can get some ricochet with steel. So I'm gonna try to hit them 230 yard ones out there with this steel though, see what we can do on that. And then I'm gonna hit these two bottles and finish finish the magazine off on the center blocks. Like I say, I feel like I'm pressing my luck. And while I was loading these, these are some soft plastic. So I ain't making no excuses. And it's low, low brass. Well, it ain't brass, but low, low head on it. So we'll see. So far, it's been perfect, except for that one little hiccup, little half partial misfeed. 
Uh, but I believe that was me. I ain't gonna blame the gun on that just yet. But we're gonna run them two mags and see if it replicates itself. You better believe that. All right, so that fed in, no problem. But we're gonna see what she does. Let's get at it. I feel like we might have a hiccup here. I hope not, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see. All right, let's go out to that that thirty yard steel out there. Fed that. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe no problem. Let's see. Looking good so far. All right. What we that? What was that? What four? Let's let's finish it off. Finish it off on these cinder blocks. There you go. Fed a whole ten rounds of that number seven already, and I ain't put that much buckshot through it. So, I like that smoke off them cinder blocks. That baby's running out, man. This gun's nice. This gun's nice. Let me let me do some reloads, and we'll get at it some more. All right, y'all, we loaded back up again. I got two more uh, five-rounders full of that Wolf double lock buck. I'm moving back to it because I want to shoot some more of this steel up here. And I also want to see if we can, uh, if we have any issues, you know, as you saw, as y'all saw, I ain't cutting out no, no issues. So y'all saw that little half hiccup, whatever you want to call that. I don't know what that was, to be honest. But, so I got a couple of paint cans out there. This green one's got a bad nozzle on it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and it's probably about half full. I'm going to shoot it, see what we get. Them other two's pretty much empty, but I figured I'd shoot them anyway, see what we get out of it. So enough of that chit-chatting again. Let's get at it. I actually really like that ambidextrous. I'm using the, this side of it. I like that safety selector. All right, anyway, here we go, y'all. Here we go. Let's get at it. Let's see what we can do with it. Let me, I'm going to take out them two first cans. Well, let, let's hit this steel on it first. Woo! Yes, sir. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and finish out this mag. Let's hit that little white target down there. One more, one more. Let's see if we can go to the 30. Yes, sir. All right. One more mag of the double alt buck. I'm going to see if I can blow up these paint cans. See what we get. All right, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Didn't get much out of them. Like I say, they was pretty much empty. Let's see what this green boy does. That was pretty nice. That was pretty nice. I like it. There you go. Ten more. So we didn't re didn't recreate that little hiccup we had. Like I said, I'm blaming myself for that. I could feel me kind of getting a little crooked with that. So that's one thing I could see happening with that big long mag. Uh, if you get up on that thing and maybe jack it sideways, you know what I mean. But who knows? I don't. I don't know what it was. We chalking that up. This baby's running nice. I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna run a. I'm gonna feed us a. Another magazine full. Uh, we're gonna do that three inch, and then we're gonna we're gonna probably call it from there. All right, y'all, got us loaded back up again. Two more mags. We got two last mags. We're gonna run through. Uh, went ahead and put these three inches in there. I'm a little nervous about these, but we'll see. Uh, these are the Winchester Double X, 1300 uh, feet per second, an uh, ounce and three quarter inch number six load in it. So, not much slower, but that three inch, you never know. I can't, this might not, it might not like them, but we're going to see. Now, these are uh, copper plated uh, lead, so I'm going to hit these outside steels, but I'm still going to stay off that middle one. I just don't want to, I don't want to press my luck on it. So, I'm going to go with them two 30 yarders, these two outside ones, and then the white one down there. And that's going to be our five three inches. And then I got the last mag on it is going to be these real cheap target loads. These, uh, what are they? Estates? Yeah, estates. And these will be the slowest yet now these are 1290 feet per second seven and a half shots so these these last two mags right here ought to be a good test i'm probably pressing my luck i i mean i probably should put some more buckshot but i'm feeling pretty confident in it so far i'm loving this gun man I'm loving this gun so only thing i got to get used to is my my magazine inserting and all that jazz so we're gonna get at it man all right here, again this is the three inches right here let's see what we can do we'll go out to them 30 yard ones first see what happens No problem. That, that's got some thump to it, buddy. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That's got some thump, man. Yeah, that's got some thump to it right there. These three inches, uh, these three inch 1300s got more thump than them double all buck, buddy. All right, let's hit this. Let's hit this one to the side. I'm gonna get at an angle just to be safe. Woo! Good God! Look at that, man. Look at that. 
This has got some thump right here, baby. All right, let's do the pink one. Good day. Do that white one down there. Woo, missed that one. That's got some thump to it right there, buddy. All right, so that ran out good, man. That was five, three inches. Y'all saw it. Boy, that's got a really, really different smell to it, too. That's some odd stuff. So, all right, here, we, here we're doing the 1290s. We're back to two and three quarter, but these are 1290 feet per second. These will be, uh, see, I'm, I'm awkward on that magazine. These will be the slowest so far, but I don't see much problem with it. Let's see what we got. Now, these are steel again, so I'm going to stay off. I'm going to stay off from up close here. We'll go out to those 30s. That, that's like a marshmallow right there, man. But you see it? It kicked it on out. Yeah, that's like a marshmallow, especially after what I just shot. Let's go down there to that white one. I'm all right with shooting that one. All right, so what we got? One more? One last hurrah? No, we got one more. That was it. That was it. I don't know if it... Oh, it just didn't hold back. That was it. Run them all, man. God, that was really soft. Those were like a little marshmallow right there for sure. Man, I can't... I love this gun. I love this gun, man. All right, y'all. That was it. Y'all seen it. All Everything run pretty much flawless today. We had that one little... Uh, piece of feed i don't know what you want to call that but i'll be honest like i said i'm gonna blame that on myself i i couldn't replicate it i think i'll be honest i think i was putting some pressure on the mag and had a little jack sideways but you've seen what happened there it was just a little tap and it went on home uh but we put we put quite a few rounds i'll show you here there's the shells i mean we 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 put a workout on her for sure i had a great time out here man i hope y'all enjoyed watching it i love this gun I, I i fully i can't recommend that gun enough if you're looking for a bullpup shoddy or some kind of tactical like shoddy like that that thing would be devastating as a home defense weapon i'm talking about devastating man it was it was the wads were basically putting holes down there in the plywood so all all pellets on target at 10 yards and it would go even further out ain't no doubt in my mind so i'm gonna i'm gonna uh get some get somebody out here to pull me some skeet and we're gonna do that but i had a heck of a time i hope y'all enjoyed watching it I, I know this thing's probably longer than i wanted it to be but i get carried away out here y'all know how it is shooting but really appreciate y'all watching i appreciate everybody who likes and subscribes y'all hit that like button if you like it leave me a comment below tell me what you think about it we're gonna have some plenty more y'all know how i am y'all can probably tell i'm a shooter and i ain't letting none of this mess slow me down so as soon as this weather gets good we're really gonna crank it up so again Appreciate you, the heck out of y'all watching. Hit that like button if you liked it. Hit that subscribe. Stay safe, stay prepared, and we'll see y'all in the next one.